Hey, how you doing? So here at my yet again moved office slash RC shop, I have got a new arrival today. Uh, it's a, a small one. Uh, this is going to be part of a another project, but it is the HG801 military truck. This is out in the end of view. Big shout out to uh, Toucan Hobby. Find them on all your social media platforms. I think I this on a Wednesday or a Thursday. And it arrived on uh, Monday. So very, very quick service. And yeah, it's about 30 pounds. Do a quick peek inside the boxes here. Let's see what all we've got. It's a one twelfth scale. We've got our what, Trace Mid 16 channel uh, radio that comes with it. Uh, that'll probably work for what I need for my project. If not, we will. Upgrade to the uh, probably the Fly Sky PL18 EV, uh, so you get 18 channels. Lots to do, but um, got the sticker sheet. Probably will use some of those. And we also have some uh, optional parts. So we got your mud flaps. Likely going to be the, the tie down pieces for the, the bed back here, the handles, some screws, got some cabling, got three hex wrenches, we got, we have a 1.5, 2.5, and a 2.0, a little bit of wiggle room, look at this, another set of mud flaps, some zippy ties, and your hex key along with a bunch of uh, two by six millimeter bolts which will likely go to do these handles on the trailer bed. So I guess we should probably open this thing up, take a look at it while I turn off my dehumidifier because of the noise. Apologize for going out of the frame. I'm still here, you can check out the RCs on the wall. Nice cardboard outer. I generally don't save the box. I don't know, I just like the art on this box. I might, I might actually store that one. And then, so a few of these done online before. There it is in all of its glory. Just pro tip, I usually save these in case somebody drops their phone or something else electronic in water. Put these in some Ziploc bags and then I just have, instead of a bag of rice, I just got a bunch of these silica gels that I can dump stuff into. All right. Gingerly pull this bad boy out of here. Yeah, it's about 30 pounds. Need some more silica gels. This guy out of the way. Um, it is nice to have a couple has some uh, magnets that help keep it closed all along here. Which, if I don't save the box, no, I will. But it's a good, easy closing system. There it is. Scale. That's awesome. 
Let's see, get the TRX4 Blazer. There's a kind of a scale comparison. The Blazer fits in the bed of the uh, HG inner one. Eh, it's gonna be a fun, fun project. Uh, I'm gonna do some lighting upgrades on it. Probably gonna throw some paint on it eventually. And uh, got a few other ideas. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do them or not, so I won't speculate here. Uh, yeah. Shrouding off the front. Uh, this one did come with the full uh, light and sound kit on it. That off. And that one off. But on the sides here, let's see. Tilt you all down just a smidge. There we go. Oh, oh, here on the sides, it does have these little spring loaded pieces, so you tilt them up, push them in. These all fold flat down. Be good. Uh, one thing I'm going to modify from the from go is, in order to get the battery in and out, you have to take off a couple screws here in the back, and it goes here. Uh, I'll likely remount that somewhere over in this area, and do that. Probably better for the camera to be able to see this better than I can. Uh, but spring loaded here. Uh, good, good solid door plastic, but it, it is good and hinged. We got a lot of detail there in the cab. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled. This is going to be fun. Get your uh, your fold away mirrors so you can put those back out. Uh, eight by eight front two axles turn. Uh, lots of scale detail once I. Uh, break this thing apart and do some uh, initial maintenance on it just to make sure all the diffs are uh, the way I would like them. And there's some other scale bits on it. Alright, so here's a look at the other direction. Uh, yeah, it's got a nice aggressive stance to it, that Oshkosh look um you can get the lights in there uh, you know. uh, yeah we got some some good stuff to work with in there definitely we'll do some patina up on that Put down push that back in get you back apologize Blend on doing this, but I'm just kind of liking this. Appreciate you hanging out. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely do some details on those gas cans and then uh, throw some LEDs up there on the, the toggles and the switches. Um, yeah, you got the, the AC air cycle stick on, sticker in there, but I'll definitely be taking that out um, and actually putting some lights back there and then patini. Do some patina on it, just give it a, a look that I'm going for, a good look, and then, you know, we got some uh, some good details here, got a spare tire, paint those guys up, uh, look underneath it, <clears throat> and there's, there's where the sound module is, and then we've got the, the cable steering uh, for the both both axles here and you get all wheel drive so eight wheel drive four wheel steer got a little bit of twine line over here uh, for that and i think that's about it it's the opposite way i was thinking there we go yeah so there are your electronics definitely gonna have a, a fun project with this one so let me get you back over to the camera stand and i'll be right back all right, so there it is, the um, Ping Long, or HG801. Uh, the 801 is the static bed like this. Uh, it does not, 
does not dump or tilt. It's, it's fixed into place. The 803, I think it's 803A, is a, I'm not mistaken, a hydraulic uh, tipper. So this actually goes up, has a gate on it, and dumps. And then the 802 is uh, kind of like the semi version of this chassis. So it's got the, uh, where's this get me? I haven't had my coffee yet. Not the kingpin, but the, the plate in the back. So the 802 is the same version uh, on the chassis, except for it has kind of the semi hitch in the back for doing your heavy haulers. Some amazing things, and um, Bob Oberhaven Hobby Concepts has alluded that he's got something coming. Uh, they've got some really cool trailers for that missile launchers, radar trailers. Um, but that's not the direction I'm going right now, but I really like seeing those. So if you have something like that, please comment, uh, hit the like button, let me know. Um, got any tips or tricks for this guy? Uh, I'd appreciate those as well. Again, it's a beefy, beefy truck. I'll get this out oh, probably over the next few days. Try to do a quick run video uh, stock, but first I want to take it apart, open up the differentials, make sure the gears look good. Uh, Assume nothing, uh, trust but verify, and uh, have some long life to this RC. Also, thanks to uh, Jerry over at uh, Jerry's Old Guy Reviews. He's done a couple of these and helped me make the decision to go with his chassis for my project. And for everybody else out there that's just putting content out there, thank you. Uh, it really does help. It helps me uh, shorten the learning curve as I figure out how to do this stuff. I've only been in the hobby about two or three years now, I guess about three years now, started uh, just the beginning of uh, the Coco. Um, don't wanna mess up the algorithms, but uh, I've got my uh, Tamiya 96 Porsche 11 GT1 Street. This will be my first kit that I've ever built. That'll be coming up here pretty soon. Uh, some of my police trucks, got my nice RC Nation hat, first 100. Have no idea, I just happened to be there when uh, email came out. Got my blue rally that I did up here. Now you can't see it, but blue. It used to be the stock rally. I just took the paint off, made it blue. That's it um, right there. <laughs> Not even an issue. So, got some more projects coming up. But again, thank you for putting out the content that you do. Uh, so that's about all I have for today. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. Hit the like button if you're enjoying the stuff. Hit the subscribe button. And formerly RC Trays, now all RC fun. Have a great day. If you can, make yourself smile. Even better, make somebody else smile. Hopefully I made you smile or at least go, oh my gosh, what's wrong with that dude? Have a great day.